Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about six things to never do with the automatic shifter in your car. You see, this right here is an automatic shifter in a car. Let's just turn the air down for now. And there are certain things that you can do to this automatic shifter or one just like it that are not good for it. So I'm gonna tell you six of those things and try to avoid doing them if you want your automatic car and your transmission and the shifter and everything else about your car to last much longer. Let's get right to it. Number one is don't rest your hand on it for too long. Now I know that it seems like this is an armrest or a hand rest. I mean, it's positioned perfectly. You have the wheel over here, you know, your left hand is on the wheel and sometimes instead of having two hands on the wheel, you have one hand just resting on the shifter. Not a good idea. This is a moving part. And whenever you put a lot of pressure for an extended period of time on a moving part, it runs the risk of breaking down the mechanism inside of it. There are multiple things in, underneath here, like right if you can imagine removing this plastic piece and looking inside there are many moving parts that connect it eventually to the automatic transmission which can be very expensive to replace so resting your hand on it for extended periods of time often is not a good thing to do i mean if you rest your hand on it once in a while just for a bit that's probably going to be okay but don't do it often for long periods of time Number two, do not force it to go where it doesn't want to go. Right now, I'm not pushing my foot down on the brake pedal. If I try and shift it, it won't shift, okay? I need to actually push my foot down on the brake pedal in order to get it to shift. But what you don't want to do is force it to do something that it doesn't want to do. If the shifter is not moving, don't force it to move. It's literally one of the worst things that you can do. You can break so many things by forcing it when it doesn't want to go and then pushing it into place and you think that you're doing the right thing because you get it into gear but in reality you're breaking things down which can be super expensive and it can leave you stranded on the side of the road number three definitely do not shift any of the gears while the car's in motion so many times uh, people will put it in reverse they'll reverse out of their driveway and then what they'll do is they'll put it in drive while the car's still moving not a good idea you definitely want to don't want to do that you know before you shift anywhere you want to make sure that the car's at a complete stop even going from drive to park make sure that the car's at a, a complete stop you know drive to neutral neutral to drive make sure that the car at a complete stop do not shift this when the car is moving horrible thing to do and what i actually did right there tapping on it really hard is not a good thing to do it's you know it's also not a good thing to do on a side note okay sidebar right there moving forward to number four and i'll go over that tapping in just a moment but number four is you don't want to apply sideways pressure to it this shifter is only meant to go down and up down and up that's it not even like up and down and we already went over that with regards to resting your hand on it but it's not meant to go side to side some shifters are like in our other mazda 3 my wife and i also have a mazda 3 you kind of push the shifter to the side to bring it into drive to pull it out of park you pull it to the side not this one you don't want to apply sideways pressure to a shifter when it's not supposed to be applied this shifter is literally only supposed to go down and up just like that not side to side so don't apply any sort of sideways pressure to it okay moving forward to number five which i already actually did by accident don't hit it don't hit the shifter sometimes you get angry you have road rage you know someone cuts you off you're really angry don't slap the shifter don't hit the shifter that's way worse than even resting your hand on the shifter you rest your hand on the shifter that's like level one bad hitting it is like level eight bad it's as simple as that if you hit it it's gonna apply a lot of pressure that you don't want to apply it's as simple as that number six last but not least is you do not want to hang things from it so many people will you know they'll get things it's just a phone charger cord but they'll get things and they'll hang them from the shifter for whatever reason you know it's their own personal preference they'll hang them from the shifter very bad thing to do first and foremost it applies a little bit of constant weight if it's a light object it's still a little bit of constant weight to the shifter which isn't good and also you run the risk of these cords or strings or whatever it is getting caught inside of here, which can really cause some serious problems. Um, and that's it. You, like, you really don't want to be in a position where you want to shift it into park, but a cord is stuck here or a wire or a string is stuck here and you can't actually move it and you're stuck in drive. You know, you don't want to be in that position. And that's it. Those are six things to never do with the automatic shifter in your car. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. 
Thanks for watching.